Well, here we go with the hinge theorem and its converse. A lot of words there. Let's just look at the pictures and make some sense out of it. Think of it, I like to think of it as side angle side. Look at this. Start there. You got the blue segments congruent. You got the purples congruent. Now, if these two angles were congruent, then we'd have side angle side. But we don't. We have an inequality. And it's very simple. As long as we've got that two pair of matching sides, blue and purple here, I open this up like this. Where the red angle is bigger than the green angle, then the red side is bigger than the green side. It's all that simple. And of course, the converse would be, hmm, same thing. I've got the two pairs of matching sides, the blue and the purple. The red side, bigger than the green side, means the red angle is bigger than the green angle. Remember, it's the angle opposite that side. Or, as we said way back in side angle side, the included angle. Well, let's start with an easy one here. See, I've got these two included angles between the two pairs of congruent sides. Bigger angle. So this must be the bigger side. All right? There you go. Done. Well, number six here, let's look at these two figures. Again, two pairs of congruent sides. Angles one and two are the included angles. Well, it looks like 14 is bigger than 13. I'd expect that two was the bigger angle. So, well, I think I'd move it up like that. Now, if you want to visualize this, let's do this. Go ahead, we drew this to scale. And there you go, let's move it over. You can see the bigger side right there, 14 a little bit bigger. And look at that angle, you can see it. Angle two, bigger than angle one. Well, let's see what we've got here. Angles one and two, included angles of two pairs of congruent sides, except they intercept, or let's say their opposite sides are congruent, because it's the same thing, same side. Well, I would say that the angles must be congruent then. As a matter of fact, we're going to see this figure upcoming chapter, and this quadrilateral will be known as a kite. And indeed, angles one and two are congruent. Well, this is a job for the converse of the hinge theorem. See, reflexive property tells me I've got my one side, and I've got my other pairs of, well, other pair of congruent sides. Opposite side, red side, opposite the red angle, bigger than the blue side, opposite the blue angle. So that would tell me that which angle has to be bigger? Well, 42 is bigger. That's the opposite angle. Angle one, bigger than angle two. Well, let's identify our two triangles and get to work on establishing the inequality. See a triangle right here, shaded one. I'm going to need this angle using the third angle theorem. And now I've got these two angles. Clearly 110 is the bigger angle. So the opposite side, this side's going to be bigger than this one, which is opposite the 51. That's got your start. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention, we do have two pairs of congruent sides. The, these sides are congruent. And we're using this side on both triangles. Therefore, the hinge theorem does apply. And we'll set it up that way. And right there, again, this expression, larger than this one. And see, subtract the x, subtract the 2, divide by 2, and you're done. Well, here, angle 1 is opposite the red expression. Angle 3 is opposite this blue expression. Each of these angles is adjacent to a seg a congruent segment there and by the reflexive property another congruent segment. So these two angles would be ruled by the hinge theorem. Let's just see if we can equate the two, the red and the blue. And the most obvious thing right here is that angle one is an exterior angle to this triangle. Well that means that it is greater, the measure of angle one is greater than either of its remote interior angles. That would be angle three. And let's set up an inequality to show that. 
that means since these two angles, one is greater than three, this expression, the red expression, the red side, is greater than the blue expression representing the blue side. And that's it. Okay, we'll do some arithmetic. A little more. And let's divide. 